How did that morning start when you guys went over there? Was it a Sunday? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Sunday morning, we just went out looking for scrap metal and then uh, walking the creeks and got up in that area and uh, started digging through stuff and found a jawbone. So you see the jawbone first, and then as your, what's your immediate reaction when you saw it? Well, I just, you know, we stopped went and looking at it and went and called the, the authorities and uh, waited and waited and went back down there, and then she found the uh, rest of the, or found the head, the skull and hair and stuff. Okay, so, so you guys found that after you'd called the authorities yeah. and you guys are looking around and and so was it Natalie did you find the the rest of the or the skull then yes okay and when you when you found it was it in a bag it was in like a Kroger grocery bag the plastic ones okay and I was poking at it with a stick and the bag ripped open and that's what was in there well was it uh, uh I know I've got Kroger bags all over my house was it one of those tan ones that has yeah. the black mm-hmm. print on the outside it was brown yeah. It couldn't tell what the color of the print was. It was either blue or black. So as you're looking around, you've called the authorities. The first call that you made, was it to 911 or to who? Yeah, well, it was Franklin County Sheriff's Department. All right. What did they tell you? Uh, they transferred us to the DNR. Okay. And they were thinking that it was something else. Yeah, they was thinking it was an animal bone. Mm-hmm. Which you knew immediately it was Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd seen every kind of animal bone there was, so... The authorities, uh, as they're getting ready to come over, did you look around to see and notice any other skeletal remains? No, that's all you could see. The rest of her was covered up with garbage. Okay. And then um, when the authorities get there, um, what do they immediately do when they get there? Are you guys still there? Have you guys kind of been hanging out for a couple hours? Yeah, we was waiting on them because we had to call them back when okay. we found the skull. We had to call him back, and then he was there pretty quick then. All right. At that point, um, are they, when they arrive, are they talking to you for a few minutes, and then they're maybe wanting you guys to, to leave while they inspect the area, or what did they do at that point? No, we just sat right there while they looked through everything. All right. We was there all day. Wow. Um, did they put up any police tape or do anything along those lines? No. Okay. Were there any other people that were coming around to, to take a look, general bystanders or anything? Yes. Yeah, there was all kinds of people stopping and wanting to know what was going on. Did any of those folks get into the crime scene area? Mm, no. no. Okay. That day, were the investigators able to find uh, the other remains? We qu- don't know. Okay regarding the position of the skeleton and things you guys weren't present to get any of that information we was there but i mean they never told us nothing they just you know what they got out of there and anything like that they just... okay how helpful were they uh that day telling you stuff did they kind of keep everything pretty quiet yeah i mean for the most part yeah you know there was a couple things i mean there wasn't much that they would tell us but yeah when you're looking at human remains like what did they actually of course they were skeletal remains what did they look like were they kind of grayish in color her jawbone was white as can be now the head it was dirty i mean it had like a tan collar to it Mm -hmm. and did you happen to notice anything out of the ordinary like a clothing or perhaps anything that could have been hers personally you found quite a bit of shoes yeah there was uh, dress shoes but i mean they, they were, like you said there was a bunch of them and then there was all kinds of trash there so i mean you know, you don't know. okay afterwards did you uh did you follow the case a little bit in the papers and on tv yes yeah. i kept every article oh wow <laughs> yeah and uh, from there, did uh, did the police ever come forward and start mentioning any other things that were found on the scene? No. They wouldn't say nothing. No, we we left out. You know, I mean, it, it's they wouldn't tell us nothing. So, well, have the police also asked both of you guys to uh, stay pretty quiet about the case, or no? We asked them to to keep our names out of it, and the next day everybody knew. 
Wow. Was it uh, Indiana State Police or was it your guys' local? Well, police? state, county, DNR, uh, they was all down there. Yeah. How has this uh, changed your lives now that you're in the public eye for, for this random discovery? I really didn't like it at first because all the people that were coming around didn't know who they were, what they wanted. It was kind of scary. <laughs> Her head was in the bag, and they want to argue about it because they said that it was just sitting there. No, the bag was tied. Oh, it was tied. It was tied. Like tied off or, or tied like it couldn't be tied off? Like how you tie a plastic Kroger bag where you do that double It was knot tied at, at the end. bottom of her okay. jaw. Did you have the impression then that it was put over her head and tied or that her head was separated? Was to, tied? Honestly, to me, it looked like her head was separated. And I told him, told him that, and they never, nothing about it, never confirmed it or denied it. If the jawbone was outside of it, well, I don't know. And the bag was intact before it was torn? Yeah, because it's when I poked it with the stick is when it ripped down. Okay. Wow. Has Mr. Markham or any of his family ever called to thank you for everything, for finding her? Well, I mean, you know, we, we run into him down there. And I uh, talked to them, and they, I, I was driving by, and they hollered at me and made me stop, you know, stop me so we could, so they could thank me and everything. And yeah. um, being parents yourself, um, how does this make you feel, knowing that something like this could happen uh, to a child? I mean, how how did that affect you? It's very scary, especially with we have three girls. I'm very overprotective now. Where they go. I can't. I make sure that I can see them because we don't know if the person done it lives around here or or anything. It's just real scary. Yeah. From following the case in the news, do you guys have any ideas or speculation on what might have happened? No. Not no, really. No. Okay. It could be anyone. <laughs> When he, like when he lifted up piles. the garbage and the tarp, when I was you could see the stuff. rib. There was a rib and a hip. But we thought it was deer bones, you know. I mean, cause That's when he found the jawbone. That, was, that was, before I, was right before I found the jawbone. There was a tarp over top of her Yes. Then? And then a bunch of trash piled over top of it. Was it over top of her or was it she wrapped in it, per se? Per se? I don't know. I mean, if it was wrapped around, the bottom was gone. You know oh, what I mean? So... Yeah. Well, wind and who knows what for a year. And right, well. Yeah. But all the garbage that was on her was yeah. still in the bags. It wasn't yeah. tore open. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So it wasn't loose garbage. It was like... No, in trash bags. Trash bags. bags. It's and there was trash cans down there and other garbage. Okay. Garden hoses and stuff. Okay. <laughs> the way the rib cage and everything was pointing was her feet probably with her remains closer to the road or was her head closer to the road? The head was. Yeah, well, I mean, she was kind of laying parallel with the road, but not really because when kind of come uphill up, a little bit. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, a lot of you know, most of it was parallel with the road because it was just kind of like Oops. throw it over the bank and then covered up. Yeah. Was she close to that? Right against it. So like not in the creek right. per se. Right, six like, foot off the road. She was too far from the creek because the police say that they believe she washed up there. And there's just no way. And talking to people, the last time that creek was up that far was back in 1998. It's not got up that high since. She wasn't like taken down the embankment and carried a close way to the creek. It was just just started out. Dumped. Yeah. yeah. Come up the creek there, looking for scrap metal. And uh, seen a bunch of trash bags and stuff up here, so I came to dig through it, look for some metal. And uh, here, we was down in here digging around and found her laying like six, well, maybe ten foot off the road there, right down over that bank. Okay, so she was about ten feet off the road, and it looks to be maybe about twenty or thirty feet from that creek. Yeah, well, it, it's that's about fifty foot. Okay, good. Um, what were your immediate thoughts when you saw 
the the jawbone at first. Did you hang it up on a tree after you picked it up? Right, right. Yeah, I well, like I say, I uh, turned around and found or seen the jawbone laying there on the ground, and I picked it up and was looking at it. You know, and I was like, that ain't no animal. I hung it in that tree right there, and then uh, we went down to that house and called uh, uh, Franklin County, and uh, you know, waited on them. Uh, after they transferred us to the DNR and everything, and waited and waited and waited, and went back down there poking around and found the skull and called them back. And here they came. Mm -hmm. And within a little while, probably the whole area here was pretty populated, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it was full, lined up both sides. Okay. It was right over here. Okay. So she was laying here. You guys were coming the, up through the one here. that was the one that she was laying against was gone. Okay. So yeah, yeah. I come. Well, I went on down that way and then come up through here. And, uh, I've seen all this trash and stuff here, so I started picking through this and see the lane right, right across here. Okay. And you noticed uh, was the tarp? The tarp had been here for a while, hadn't it? Yeah. You've seen it a couple yeah. times. Well, I, you know, I mean, that's just the first time I was down in this area. But uh, I, you know, the tarp was laying here, and I pulled the tarp out and had it pulled over here. And, uh, you know, we were digging through this stuff and okay. found some red bones, thought it was a deer, no paid no attention, you know. And then found the jawbone and that's when we realized that it was a person. Uh -huh. Yeah. And the tree's gone that you hung the jawbone yeah. in? Yeah. Okay. Right. Um when you realized it's a person yet, because you'd been around animal bones in your life oh, a yeah. few times, you probably hunt yeah. and this thing. Uh, what kind of shot through your body uh, that feeling when you realized what it was? Uh, you know, it's just cold chills. You know, what the hell? <laughs> you know, you don't know what to think when you find something like that. It, it's when that's the last thing you're expecting to find. It, it's just what the hell. I didn't really pay attention to that. You know, because like I said, you know, it's yeah. just... Like somebody had thrown her off. And 